She can't go everywhere you go. She can't. My girl or my Your girl. Brother. Your girl. Sometimes one of y'all got to stay back with the kid. Okay, so oh. I would say what hurt me would be, like, I'm honestly, like, my mom being, like, with tip all the time. Damn. Like. Time stamp that. <laughs> not time I stamp that. I feel I like even, even now and today, like, that's how it is. Mm. Like, they're just tied to the hip. I don't know. I feel like kids just long to have their parents. Like, mm. I grew up in a great house. Like, my grandparents. My grandparents are literally the reason why I am. Like, I don't take no shit, all that. But I wanted my parents. Yeah. You know, everybody think King just came from this mm-hmm. lavish background. He's like, nah, bro, I was in my grandma's crib. The, the most, this is what he said. Like, yeah. bro, I was. <laughs> Him too. And she lived in, like, that's what he said. Yeah. Have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the goal. All right, then. Oh, there you go. 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 In the neighborhood, you me that rope up Y'all want to go to the y'all want to go to the bando in my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. I'm out of truth. Look, I used to have to come to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You used to hold your breath. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. I'm going to tell you the reason why you want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because... He can suck and pacify over there. He no. was 12 years old. He was suck and pacify. He was 12 years old. He didn't do that in the house. He cried like a baby. Hold his breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a pacify. But they ain't gonna tell you everything like that. They're trying to hide it. Ain't nobody hiding it. He capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Can't no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You drop me in your hood, I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah. I've been stood on business. I've been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Amen. I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't. You ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You was behind the mansion. You cried. No. I got too much to drink. I got drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. I'm gonna get mad because we say the south ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other Like this being sick. This being sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping. You 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 capping. I know. I know you capping. I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you. Ain't no mystery about here. I know you though. I know you though. I know you though. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. What is she talking about? Get off me, nigga. But you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. T.I. and Tiny Son King says he didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth while arguing with his parents. So King, he think he's some G or something now. You know what I'm saying? He think he's some G. He run around talking about he ain't grow up basically rich like we ain't see him on tv because you let him tell it he filmed and went back to the hood and he was in the trenches you let him tell it this man's on on on, on basically the sideline at the atlantis falcons game basically can get the vip through his daddy but you know he ain't grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth we know him we have known him since he was a kid but you know he ain't grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth. So why don't we know all the other little kids that grew up, grew up in Atlanta? Come on, man. 
See, these, these kids be spoiled as shit. I be seeing this with a lot of these celebrity kids. They get spoiled. They get entitled. Then they turn around and try to act like they're gangsters or something. Like they, they, like they didn't grow up with multi-million dollar parents. Like they didn't grow up in a mansion. You out here disrespecting your mom. Your dad got to put paws on you. And you, you, you out here acting a fool, my nigga. You're losing, man. You're losing. I mean, you keep moving like that. You're going to see where that gets you, man. You know, this happens a lot. You got a lot of dudes who want, you know, uh, become gangster after they don't grew up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't grow up doing what he was doing, but now he won't do it. The fact that T.I. and Tiny was legit disrespecting their child in public around other people. People was legit chiming in on what he was telling them. Instead of them paying any attention to their child being hurt. That, that y'all allowed him to be with his grandmother. That you as a mother allowed her to give him a pacifier till 12. And then you're telling that stuff on social media. And you wonder why he does what he do. I totally understand why King is exactly what, how he is. Y'all chose to be entertainers over parents. Respectfully. Y'all thought that money was going to cover up everything. Respectfully. Even if your child wanted to go to your mama house. No, you're going to stay with us today. Nope. Force it. Because when kids get older, they're going to regret it. They're children. I just find it weird. Black people always feel like you can disrespect your child in front of people. Think that they're going to respect you. That's why he's the way that he is, T.I. You not a father. You was a rapper. Disrespectfully. Yes, boss. Back in here again once again, man. Listen, dog. The vacation is over, man. So, uh, I'm back on YouTube. And I seen this video and this is, this is kind of crazy, right? Because I seen the incident with T.I. and his son. And I could have dropped it from way ahead of time, but... Nobody was really saying certain things I was looking for until I seen the clone Tatiana video, right? Here's the deal, right? What people fail to realize is that just because you see T.I. and Tiny and their kids on a TV show doesn't mean that that's how they all grew up together. You feel me? Like, that's, that's not true, bro. Whatever you see on TV is not true necessarily reality tv a lot of that stuff is scripted bro and you have to remember that ti and tiny are both entertainers so with them both being in the industry <clears throat> especially ti being more of into it than what tiny was at that point you have to realize that it's gonna be like a little bit of a gap in time frame as to when they're gonna see their kids things like that and King said this a lot, like a long time ago, like I was raised with my grandmother, you feel me? And the daughter came out and said, yo, I'm the way I am because of my grandparents. You have to understand this. We as people were not there in their household, right? Kids can tell you the true story, bro. That's the angle I'm trying to tell you. Sometimes people don't try to look at things from a kid's aspect. Because it's like, oh, you're a kid. Don't disrespect your parent. True. He was disrespecting his parents. But at the same time, you don't have, you don't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that, yo, his parents was violating him, dog. With the pacifier thing and all of that, you have to understand. Yes, he's young. Yeah, kids go through phases. But at the same time, you can't be out here violating the kid and boying him like that. Like he's some little boy or something, dog. I looked his age up. King is 19 years old, dog. Yes, to your parents, you're always going to be like their little child or whatever the case may be. But you have to be mindful, especially in the age of social media, the amount of disrespect and boying in certain games that you do and run with your kids because there are people out here that are willing to look at that and take that as ammunition and disrespect and boy your kids as well. So you, were, you was sucking a pacifier. You was this, that, and the third. And you have to really look at it like the, the parents kind of gave that gateway to disrespect him as well as that if somebody else disrespects him like that, you're supposed to defend your child. You get what I'm saying? That's one. Two, he's not, he's not right for what he did for going at his parents, but at the same time, you have to understand there's a lot of things that kids don't feel like they have a voice to 
and you can tell that he's broken on the inside and that was a way of him lashing out dog because of the things that he knows that the world doesn't know you know what i'm saying the daughter handles it a little bit differently but he's one of the youngest of the kids so he's not gonna handle it so well you feel me stick another pin right yes the fact that okay people say yo you are born with a silver spoon very true he comes from his people's having money but at the end of the day it doesn't mean that his parents were around like that do you get where i'm coming with this there are some parents who use money as a tool to replace them not fully being there as a parent dog or you know what i gave you this lifestyle i did this for you i did this that and the third you have to understand that it's a tale of two halves bro you can chase money all day long but if you're not a father to your kids or you're not a mother to your kids then your kids will never respect you as a parent you get where i'm coming from you can do a half-assed job and depending on your kid your kid may look at it like you know my at least my parent tried but for the fact that there are kids who know that their parents are out here in the entertainment world and they choose entertainment and status over being a parent, you have to understand that that says a lot, bro. And if your kids are willing to disrespect you like that, you have to kind of look at it like, yo, not saying it's the kid's fault, but you kind of you kind of left certain doors open for your kids to disrespect and try you like that. I'm just being real, bro. I'm a realist, dog. You don't got to like what I'm saying. I'm just being real. I look at it from both sides. I'm a kid at heart, but at the same time, I'm an adult, so I'm not stupid. You feel me? I've been around the block, spun it a thousand times, and I'm not stupid. Him lashing out the way that he's doing, you have to understand that there's deeper meanings behind it, dog. He knows more than what we would know. You get what I'm saying? Just because you see... T.I. and Tiny's family, season one, season two, season five, season 17, whatever. I don't watch that shit, but I'm trying to tell you like this. Just because you see different seasons of certain things doesn't mean that that's how it always was. Do you get where I'm coming from with this stuff? This is Hollywood. All of this stuff is scripts. A lot of these people get paid big money and they get endorsements for these things. Hey, We'll give you guys a TV show if you do this, that, and the third, and people take this money. You get what I'm saying? It's a part of the entertainment world. You get what I'm saying? So you have to realize that just because, oh, T.I. Is, T. is your dad, this, that, and the third. Your dad came from the trenches. That might be true, and he fought to get his way out of that. Very, very good job, but at the end of the day, some kids will never look at it and understand it when you make your job and your everything about entertainment and work dog because at the end of the day you have to realize that that's your child and that's what you created you feel me that's one aspect stick it back and bring it back to the parents now right very true that his parents did come from a hard life and they had to fight to get to where they are you feel me and he may not see it like that Yes, your parent, your parents may have not been there for you in a certain kind of way, but they're fighting to make sure that they never go back to certain situations to, so that you don't have to go through certain circumstances. You get what I'm saying? It's a tale of two halves, bro. The mere fact that his parents have fought hard to make sure that, yo, they're not in poverty or, yo, you don't have to wake up with a roach on your face. That says a lot. You get what I'm saying? But I think that this is more of an internal issue that they have to work on. It just sucks because the internet was brought more into it. You get what I'm saying? So that's what inflated the situation. And a lot of people have chimed in on the situation before. You feel me? Like all types of people. That's rule number one, bro. You never disrespect your parents like that. Now, I can say, yo, uh, what I did was, was justified. I did, like, here's the thing. I don't take what I did as being justified by calling my mom out her name and certain stuff. But at the end of the day, to know that my mom had a life insurance policy taken out on me and you never take it out on any of your other kids and you've been moving grimy with me. I found out certain things against you. 
It's like a cry for help for me why I did certain things what I did. You get what I'm saying? In an aspect that I never deserved this. Of all of your kids that were there for you, I'm the most consistent one. You get what I'm saying? I, I've done damn near everything for my mom, go to hell and back for my mom. But I had to understand that the love that I had for my mom, she never really had that same love for me. You get what I'm saying? So it hurt me a little bit deeper. But here's the thing, right? I even understand deeper, yeah, my mom never had her father in her life, so I had to take that into consideration. After years of understanding the effects of a woman not having a father in her life, the effects that that can play on her. So I understand that. You get what I'm saying? But here's the deal, right? When it comes to your parents, always respect your parents, dog. Especially at that age, you being 19 years old. Here's this and take this and run with it if you don't believe me, dog. Don't disrespect your parents and all of that, especially if your parents are out here providing for you and taking care of you. You get what I'm saying? Because if your parents throw you to the wolves and you have to go fend for yourself and you can't fend for yourself, you can't stand up on your own too, you're going to be screwed, dog. Different rappers came out and said something like, Julio, Julio, yo, you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You have to understand this. There's a lot of different angles that be, that can be taken out of this one video, right? There are people that live in poverty that want to get to where King is in life. You feel me? Being comfortable or having access to money. So it's certain people that act that live that that are in the trenches. They have to do certain things to make things happen, make ends meet. You feel me? They're looking at it in an aspect like, yo, you never had to do any of that stuff, which is true. Your parents made it easier for you in life, and that's the goal. That's how time should be. If you're going to evolve in life, make it better for the next generation. Don't make it harder. You get what I'm saying? When kids do this, oh, try and act gangster and all of this stuff and put on this extra personification, it's like saying, yo, you don't want the lifestyle that your parents gave to you or the good things in life. You get what I'm saying? It's a classic Jamaican saying, dog. Wanty wanty can't get to get it, but get to get it no wanty wanty. Meaning, people who always get shit don't really want it. And the people who really want stuff never really get it. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you being living in a you living in a good situation. You don't want that. You want to be, oh, I stand on business. I'm from the hood, this, that, and the third. There are people who from the hood who stand on business. Who are tired of standing on business to prove themselves. You get what I'm saying? They want to live like you. You get what I'm saying? It's like you're not happy where you're at. You won't be happy and comfortable with where you're at until you understand and feel the other side of the game. You get what I'm saying? Like where your parents came from. And these are the things where spoiled kids get created and kids don't understand. It's a tale of two halves and it's a mental trick that's played. And it's like a, I don't know if it's a phase type of thing. But this is the same situation that um Michael Irvin's son uh was going through. You feel me? He's a rapper, uh T Tarantino. You talk all this gangster stuff, but yo, you live in a double gated community, dog. You never had to do any of this stuff. You were raised in a gated community. That's the thing. There's a lot of kids who were raised in gated communities and never had to be a gangster at all, bro. You get what I'm saying? It's just that lifestyle is so appealing. Women flock to it, so they run towards it. They get fear. They get power. They get respect. They get what it is that they want. But what they're not seeing is that they're putting an even an even bigger target on their back. So I don't kind of wrong his parents in a way for kind of embarrassing him. I'm giving the power back to the parents now. Tell you why. Because your parents embarrassing you can save you in life. Oh, you're not a gangster. You were sucking on a pacifier. That actually kind of calms people down like, yo, we want to try his stripes. Oh, you are sucking on the pacifier. You're not no real gangster. We'll really, we'll really bring you problems. You feel me? You got to understand that parents can sometimes save you in that aspect. But you have to understand and look at it from all around angles that he has internal issues. And as well as that, his parents, they, they have some things that they need to sit down and talk about. But at the end of the day, these are typical problems that normal people go through but their situation is just a little bit different because they're out there in the limelight you get what i'm saying 
So these are just little angles it is that you need to look into, bro. Once again, nobody's perfect. We all go through certain things, but at the end of the day, there's always some form of a common ground that can be found. You feel me? With that being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I'm going to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser, man. It's your boy 440 for the world. Peace.